Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Evergreen Arts and Crafts. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a spiral cord or you can call it a spiral ro rope. We made this to attach to a back. It's work as a handle. To make this, it's quite a tricky uh, pattern but once you get it it's really easy for you so I'm going to start with a chain 8 it depends on what uh, width or length you want okay it's up to you I'm going to chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 after making 8 chains we're going to join to the very first chain if you are very new to the crochet world, don't forget to uh, learn the basic crochet stitches first, then it's going to be easy for you. Now into the center of the ring, I'm going to work 10 single crochets. So it's round one, and I'm doing a 10 single crochets into the center ring here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After making ten single crochets, we are back to the beginning and now we don't want to join. What we're going to do, we will work into the back loops only. There are two loops, so we will pick up the back loop and work a one single crochet in each. So count 10, round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so from now, we are not going to count any rows because now we will work into the continuous round for this spiral cord. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to show you guys what we have to do actually. We will have to work a one single crochet, but not in the back loop, not in the both loops, but into a really different loop. When you see to the next, there is your single crochet, okay? So at the top, you can see there is one bar here and at that, behind that bar on the left side, you can see there is another bar here. We have to work one single crochet from now on till whatever length you want, you have to work into this loop here. There is one bar here and the, at the top of your single crochet and at this, at the behind this bar, there is one more bar here. So we have to insert the hook into that bar. Grab your yarn and do a single crochet. Now we are into the next and there you can see there is another vertical bar. And at the back of that bar on the left side, this is the right side, this is the left side. There is the bar at the back of the bar there you can see there is a loop so we have to work one single crochet into that loop again there is a bar and there is the back of, at the back of this bar there is a loop here if you forgot that loop just focus on this bar here if you work if you focus on this bar you can find that loop easy there is the bar and there is a loop here so we have to work continuously into these loops again and again and again and again there are no counting there is your bar and there is the loop Work one single crochet around and around into the same bar until you reach to your desired length of your um, handle for your back. There is the bar. There. This is the bar and at the back there is the loop here. 
and I'm going to work into the continuous round to show you how this looks like when we do a couple of rounds. I hope I have uh, explained to you good. Uh, if I don't, don't forget to comment me on the comment box down below. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, uh, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. There is the bar and at the back, there is this bar and at the back of this bar, there is another loop here. So we have to work into that. This is the vertical bar at the behind. On your left side, there is another bar. And you make sure not to tie too much stitches because otherwise you can see this bar will get tighter. There is your vertical bar and here is the loop. So I'm going to work a couple of rounds to show you how it looks like. So here you can see after a couple of rounds, this is how what your work is going to look like. And there you can see a spiral effect here. This is all because we work into that specific loop. And I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. So there is your bar here. And at the back of this bar, there is your loop. Here, yarn over and do a single crochet. Again, there is your bar here. And at the back of the bar, on the left side, you can see a loop. So this is really simple. Once you will get into the rhythm, it will get easier for you to work with because once you will get into the rhythm, you will see only these loops. Your focus will be on to those loops only. So you will find it easy to work with. Okay, so there you can see now I can easily find the loops because there is your vertical bar and behind the bar there is a loop here. So every time you have to find the loops, if you forget the loop, don't forget to get your um, this bar. Don't forget to see that bar here. And behind that bar, there is the loop. There is your bar, and here is the loop. And this is what you have to do. Okay, and if you wanted to make it with a crochet, a wool, a regular wool, or with the um, parachute thread, what you have to do if you want to make a thicker version, just make a regular, like the pattern I show you, follow the same pattern, and inside, just fill it with the um, uh, cotton. The silk cotton, the, um, the fabric one, the really the soft one, I don't know what you call that, I forgot it. You have to stuff it in and then continue the round. So that will give a little bit um, hardness to your um, handle, okay? So if you have enjoyed today's video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your precious time you give to my videos. Take care everyone. Bye.